Ray Lynn Burke has helped develop treatments for HIV, herpes, and hepatitis B. In the 1990s, as one of the world's foremost vaccine researchers, she turned her attention to Alzheimer's disease and was on the team that created an experimental drug called bapinezumab. I really believed that it was going to work. You saw it work in mice. I saw it work in mice. It works by clearing the plaques in the brain that are the hallmarks of Alzheimer's disease. Dr. Leonard Mulkey of the Gladstone Institute remembers Burke's passion. You have to have a certain level of obsession, and so you will be doing things in your mind under the shower and while you drive to work. And I think, you know, Ray Lynn uh, was exactly in, in that mold. It was that very personality trait that made her realize something was terribly wrong. One of the things I did while commuting was, you know, play with numbers in my head. I couldn't do that like I used to do it. And I said, oh, this is, this is odd. The formal diagnosis came in 2008. Yes. Alzheimer's. Yes. How old are you? Gosh, um, how old am I? 60-something. <laughs> She's 64, and now even the easiest math is impossible. It uh, is one of those um, incredible ironies of life, isn't it? You never know <laughs> what the uh, end game is going to be. But Burke never lost her passion for discovery, so she decided to help test the very drug she helped create. Every three months, she takes the short trip to the University of California, San Francisco, where the trial is based, and receives bapinezumab. Do you think that it's making you better or that it's slowing your decline? I think it's slowing the decline. I don't think it's making me better. Burke struggles with simple tasks like counting money and making coffee. I need the filter column. Oh, I've got it here. But with the support of her husband, Reg Kelly, she lives an active life. This is a particularly cruel part of the disease, right? Where you're still with it enough to remember what you've lost, and yet you fear what you're going to lose still. It is cruel. It is cruel. Ray Lynn Burke is almost like two people. The scientist who's trying to figure out how to treat this disease, and then the patient who knows she's losing more and more each day. Courageous woman, John. Thank you very much.